Welcome back to the park. I think it's time to go on the Ferris wheel. It sounds like the sound is coming from down there. I wonder if I actually have to go on the Ferris wheel. I mean, I certainly want to, just because I'm curious, but... Like the, uh... The Octo... whatever ride back there? What was that called? The Octotron? Did I actually have to go on that? Because it doesn't seem like it did anything that allowed me to progress. So I wonder if the rides are optional. But, I mean, come on. You can't visit an amusement park, even if it is a, a nightmarish, demon spirit filled one, without visiting the rides, right? So they are going to close this place down. Doesn't surprise me. State Bureau of Fair Rides Inspection. State Inspection res Report September 22nd, 1980. Inspection Result Unsafe. Close the park. <clears throat> Inspector's Comments. After touring the park, Riding the rise and viewing the startling number of incidents suffered here in the park. It is this inspector's opinion that Atlantic Island Park should be shut down until Nathaniel Winter complies with all safety regulations. While I understand that there is a sensitive political relationship between Mr. Winter and the Senator, I nevertheless suggest that such political considerations be set aside in condemning Atlantic Island Park. The rides, at first glance, appear well constructed and maintained. But the sheer number of incidents in the park during the last few years, and during construction, lead me to believe that there is something wrong at the base level of construction, and we should close the park and fully investigate these flaws. To wit, here is a partial list of the fatalities in the park since opening only two years ago. Family of three killed when a roller coaster cart derailed. Fourteen separate incidents of broken bones and crushed ribs while riding the Octotron. Three suicides from the top of the Ferris wheel. <laughs> Suicides is in quotes. A child seriously injured on the escalator. Over a dozen children reported missing in the House of Horrors since its construction. One report of a drowning in the Tunnel of Tales. The sheer volume of incidents means it is my strongest recommendation that Atlantic Island Park be closed immediately. Huh. I wonder if these incidents are related to the things I'm experiencing. One report of a drowning in the Tunnel of Tales. Didn't I hear something like bumping into my... my boat in the Tunnel of Tales? It sounded like something was underneath the water, kind of like bumping against me. Could that be the spirit of the person who drowned? And this one says three suicides from the top of the Ferris wheel. I hope I don't add to the number. Oh god, there's the creature operating the controls. I really love that you can see your own body. Let's get a view of this place. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. 
We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Oh, he actually worked here. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. has happened so far. I'm really, really surprised nothing horrible happened. Those moments, it's happened one time before with the, uh, with the bumper cars, and it just happened again here. They're supposed to be scary, obviously, like, oh my god, close call, the thing almost crushed me. But to be honest, it's not scary at all, because during those sequences, it's just a cutscene. Uh, you can't move. There, there's nothing to dodge. You have no control over your character. So it's obvious you're not going to die. All right, got the roller coaster ticket. A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk. Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them. Little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Whoa. She's having some disturbing thoughts. Nothing that time when I called for Callum. No noise, no baby crying, nothing. Just silence. Okay, we're over on the right now. So where have we not gone at this point? We haven't gone to the roller coaster, which we're about to go to. Haven't gone to the sideshow alley. Or the house of horrors. Go on the roller coaster. I to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. Is my friend in there? Mm hmm. What do you want? 
We need to talk about Callum. Oh shit. What do you mean? He's right behind what me. What have you done to him? I? That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. The witch has him now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. God damn, that was a creepy sequence. Having that creature behind me, you can see its arms and you know it's there, and like its breath is on your neck basically, but you can't look behind you and actually see it. You just know it's there. You can hear it. You can see its arms. <sighs> Looks like we were crashing through a hospital. Is that from when Callum was born, or maybe the hospital visit when the father uh, died from the accident? Something. Definitely in a hospital. Ooh, flashlight. The witch awaits. Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him, demanded really to know where he got the marks, but he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can save him. And there will be pain. But I love him and in the end, he will understand why. Okay, hold on a second. A couple of the things she, s she said before. One thing she said before is all that disturbing stuff about the kid being a little shit and you're a slave to them and, you know, abandoning him, abandoning him would be good and fuck Callum. All those disturbing thoughts. And what she just said about bruises on him and, and Callum not wanting to talk to her. I wonder, are they going to go... With the story, like, I'm wondering if this is going in the direction of maybe she's been abusing him. Right? Because it almost seems like there's two people. There's kind of, like, two people here. Two personalities. The one that hates Callum and it's like, fuck Callum. Just a burden. And then the other one that wants to save him. And I wonder if... I wonder if they're going with that angle. That she's having severe mental problems and she might be hurting Callum.
How do I use the flashlight, by the way? I picked it up, but it didn't say how to use it. Come back! I'm pressing all the keys. Uh, looks like I can't actually use it yet. Huh. The whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Cotton candy corpse leaves sour taste in parkgoers' mouths. <laughs> really? You chose to do a pun in a story about a dead person? Yesterday evening, visitors to Atlantic Island Park were shocked and horrified by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. According to the local authorities, the corpse has yet to be identified. However, they have confirmed that the remains appear to be those of a child. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from Innsmouth Academy. <laughs> Innsmouth. The Innsmouth Taint. Cthulhu. -y. Who noticed a pair of ravens tucking at something just out of sight behind the shack. Nathaniel Winter, the owner of Atlantic Island Park, has released the following statement. It is a true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in a place that was designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff of Atlantic Island Park offer their condolences to the family and friends of the victim, and will cooperate fully with authorities to help bring this case to rest. The Solomon Chronicle will provide daily updates on this story going forward. Dismembered corpse of a child. Jesus. I just heard whispers, and then I definitely just heard footsteps, too. I can help you, Callum. This is the cotton candy store, and there's blood. Poor bastard. Who did this to him? I thought it was like a cutscene. It was gonna oh, fall something behind me. I, I thought it was a cutscene. So I just kind of stayed and didn't press anything. That's not the way to go. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Where do I go now? I didn't miss something back here, did I? There's something on the cart now. The, these are mine.
Yeah, this whole amusement park thing is some sort of strange... Strange, like... Nightmare, but not just a normal nightmare. Like, drug-fueled nightmare or something. Those were pills she was taking, uh, I don't know for what. Some serious mental problem, maybe depression... Maybe something else. It just wants a hug. Don't touch me. Callum, I'm sorry. Future times. Belly button is the signature of your personal creator. I believe her name was Mama. Every seventeenth child is a magnet for sinfulness, made omniscient by broken fires and the coastal strain. What? It's just nonsense. Callum, I'm sorry. Are her arms okay? Are they still cut? The park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. No, they seem okay. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I've always despised her toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. This isn't a game, Callum! If this is a loading screen, it must be a pretty big area. Oh, here's my flashlight finally being used. Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. Uh, a, is a jeering, a jeering throng of town folk gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gates. Small-minded fools, scared of what they don't understand. My machines lie silent and dejected, but I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston, and I have retreated here, to the House of Horrors. I must think. I wonder if they're still in here. Still thinking.
Kill him. Look at that. Look at the reflection on the mirror, the way the light interacts with it. That looks so damn good. I'm not scared of you. Get out of my way. There's totally going to be something behind me in one of these mirrors at some point. There is going to be. Also, her eyes. I don't know if it's just like a weird rendering thing or if it's on purpose, but they look like pure white. Like she's dead or a ghost or something, or possessed, I don't know. I'm gonna look in every damn mirror. There's gonna be something in one of them. Something just opened up. And there's totally something behind you. Hmm. I have no idea where I'm going anymore. Okay, well that's new, so I guess I'm going the right way. <laughs> <laughs> 